Images that we take from living patients can give us very good clues and they can give us an idea where to look, but to then get the better resolution to study which cells are involved and which genes are involved that make up the cells, to really understand these more fundamental processes, we have to also go back to the real brains, not just the images. We have to go back to studying the brain in the brain banks, post-mortem studies, the studies of brains of patients who have passed away. We are the, um, the guardians of a very precious national resource and um, we take this extremely seriously. Um, how we handle the, this tissue that we receive uh, from donor families will influence the quality of the results that investigators all over the United States will receive as they use this tissue. Uh, research in the hope for the future in understanding psychiatric disorders. This is a step along the way in fulfilling that promise that one day we'll know the mysteries of serious mental illness. Well, by now you have met the Brain Bank staff and you've seen uh, the operation of the Brain Bank on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any relatives with severe neurological or psychiatric illness, we encourage you to consider the special gift of brain donation. But even if you don't have uh, family members with severe neurological and psychiatric illness, we still encourage you to think about brain donation because there is a tremendous need for normal control tissue. We'd like to thank you for visiting with us. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call the Brain Bank staff at 1-800-BRAIN-BANK. They will be very happy to answer your questions and provide you with additional materials. Thank you again and goodbye.